I like to get up early. I work out early. Too much work to do in a day to get that much sleep. And when it comes down to it, like I'm trying to stay as close to East Coast time as I can. And if I get up at four, it's really seven. So that's a good time to work out. Steelers outside linebacker James Harrison is preparing for his 16th season in the National Football League. His career already includes two Super Bowl wins. Gonna be picked off, James Harrison has it. He's running up the sideline, and that's a touchdown for Pittsburgh. An amazing play. And several team records. And it looks like Harrison with the sack, an all-time Steeler record. The 39-year-old is also known for posting his intense workouts on Instagram. Inspired by the legend himself, James Harrison, man, Mr. Jim. I do what NFL players do. Those workouts don't stop in the off-season. While most players find time to relax, it's the exact opposite for Harrison. And it all starts at the Danny Center, where he has spent the past seven off-seasons. I'll try and make my off season harder than the regular season. And that way when the season starts it's uh you know, it's a lot more comfortable for you. He does so much work, so I've gotta do a I've gotta do a lot of holding onto the reins and trying to hold him back so he doesn't burn himself out. So there's there's always like a little bit of a push and pull there getting that done. Uh. And then there's the challenge of just changing things constantly enough that they're fresh, adapting around some of the things you have to do when someone's thirty nine years old. Monday is back to legs. Usually the hardest, uh, most uncomfortable day I'm gonna get. Nine times out of 10, I'll never make it through a Monday. So. Mm -mm. You got what you get right there, baby. Tuesdays is uh, a little bit easier. Uh, Wednesdays are uh, the easiest day. Uh, Thursday gets a little bit harder. Friday is shoulders. Saturdays, it's just buys and tries. Are you serious? Do you need an Academy Award? For I always bug him and tell him that he needs an Academy Award for some of his acting that goes on when he gets tired, but um, you've got to kind of uh, be careful on the days where things aren't going smooth. Get that thing higher up. That was, that was good. Take off some weight! Where to see that? Right there. So sometimes what you see is us just trying to play and figure out, you know, what it is that we can or can't handle. Ready to see alert, what? Control it on the way down. All right, all right. It's not like I'm, you know, I have to work out. I don't feel a need where, oh my God, if I don't work out, I'm, I'm just going to go crazy. No, it's not like that. If I want to work out, I'll work out. If I don't, I don't. Harrison doesn't always enjoy the process, however. Just like everyone else, there are good days Here we go. and bad days. He does everything you ask him to do. He's on time, he works, completely self-motivated, so that it takes away all the stuff you have to do with that. And just discipline, you know, if you ask him to do something, you know he's, he's gonna do it. He might whine about something, but he's still gonna do it. Ow. I'm sorry. Oh, I don't like getting stuck with needles. It, it don't feel good. The acupuncture is not really that bad. The dry needling hurts a lot, but the results that I get from it, I mean, it makes it worth it. One great thing about James, it's he's been trying to take care of his body for a lot, a lot of years and doing all the extra stuff, which has allowed him to go for so long. It's easily double the, at least double or triple the amount of therapy versus the amount of training that he's doing. Maybe this lift one. So I do a method called gravitational pattern alignment. The feet go through the knees all the way up to the skull. We get the pelvis to communicate with the whole body. So when you put these cups on here, it's like an oil change is probably the best way to describe it. It's gonna pull blood all the way through that muscle, breaking the adhesion out but also feeding the muscle with fresh blood with oxygen in it so that it heals and recovers faster. What he has to do to get ready for the workouts and recover from the workouts, those are probably the big things that people don't really understand or see. You know, they just see all this stuff going on and they think, oh, he's just a freak, he can do this or that. You know, nothing in life is going to be given to you. And anything worth having, you're going to have to work for. And Harrison has proved just that throughout his career. He went undrafted out of Kent State and has been cut almost 10 times including four by the Steelers. You know, I treat every season the same as I, as, as I do, you know, any other season. I'm coming in trying to make the team. Um, that's first and foremost. You know, I'm just 
doing everything I need to do right now to try and prepare myself to be ready to take advantage of that opportunity. I'm going to put myself through a, a, you know, a lot harder rigors than you know what I'm going to go through in training camp. You know, within the first four to six weeks, I know if I'll, I'll be able to come back. I mean, there's there's days where I'm sure he's questioning, you know, what am I doing this for? You know, why do I still do this? When you play this game, you win Super Bowls. So, um, you know, that's your motivation is, is to win Super Bowls. If that's not your motivation, and you know, that's no longer uh, your goal, then maybe it's time for you to, you know, stop playing it.